Okay guys, so rope fish need a tight lid unless you're gonna give them somewhere to do this. Rope fish can survive outside of water for up to eight hours. They breathe mostly atmospheric oxygen and they like to come out of the water and they search for prey and then they take it back in the water and eat it. So your rope fish, if you don't have a tight lid, is going to attempt to jump out to do this, but they're going to hit the floor because they have nowhere to go. My general suggestion, if you have just a regular tank and nowhere for them to jump out, is to provide them with a turtle dock. I usually cover it in plants just so it's nice and comfy. Um, and then they can get out. Okay, so as far as tank mates go for rope fish, rope fish like other rope fish. Um, they are really social, they like to hang out together. Um, but if you're wanting to put them in some kind of a community setting, there's a couple things you need to think about. Rope fish are super derpy eaters. They are slow eaters. So if you're gonna have something in there that's gonna outcompete them for food, they are not going to eat. So something that won't outcompete them for food, and also if you put anything in with them that is small enough for them to eat, to get in their mouth, they will eat it. They are predators, so when you're considering tank mates, it needs to be something that can survive in about 80 degree water, something that they can't eat, and something that won't outcompete them for food and bully them because they're too sweet for that. Okay, so rope fish are sexually dimorphic. This is a female. You can see it's got a very small caudal fin, if any. It's very, very small. And then this is a male. It's got a larger caudal fin on the bottom. So looking at the tails is how you tell whether they're male or female. Okay, ropefish have a lot of interesting behaviors, first of which is they definitely hit the top of the water for air a lot. They breathe mostly atmospheric oxygen. They also like to group together and hang out, you know, in groups. Um, they will swim around just like a snake on the bottom. They will also hang out and sit in plants on the top. That's why they are two-tone color. So the top color is made to look like a branch so they hang out in the reeds, that's why they're also called reed fish. So the top of them is made to look like a branch so that predators don't get them. And the bottom of them is made to blend in so that something doesn't get them from the bottom. Um, they like to hang out in groups like this, you'll see. And they also like to jump. That is what rope fish do. So either give them somewhere to get out of their tank and hang out or give them a tight fitting lid so that you don't end up with your rope fish on the floor. Okay, so the only footage I have of breeding of a polyepterus is of my Senegalis Bashirs. You'll see my Platinum Bashir and my regular Bashir. The regular Bashir is doing the head bumping thing. That's how the male gets the female interested. They do parallel swimming and then they will get their tails together and the female will drop an egg on the male's tail and they will throw them into whatever spawning medium they are spawning in. So that is how you would identify a spawning behavior. And I thought I'd include a little bit of bonus footage of some shipping at LRBs and me doing some plant work on the pond, so check this out. <laughs>